For Deadpool 2, it kind of felt like a parody of Logan. Do you feel like Ryan was intended to do that to, you know, just for fun of the movie? No! Next question! <laughs> Who's got a question? There he is. Hi, oh, uh, how you doing? Good. Uh, did you, for Deadpool, for the first issue of Deadpool, did you ever use Deathstroke as your team? I did not! I, I can do this! If we had Deathstroke here, Buccaneer boots! Buccaneer gloves, half an effing mask, chainmail. Where is the chainmail? Let me tell you how it went. Marvel can. Hey guys, Todd McFarlane is kind of blown up on Spider Man. I need a Spider Man in my book. Are we clear? Okay. Um, I also like Wolverine. He's my favorite character. Um, black and red. Black and red. Uh, can I tie him into Wolverine's origin? So can I do Spider Man with guns and knives? Life fell. Cable's blown up for us. We're selling a million copies of New Mutants. Whatever you want to do, like the yeah! I didn't even hear about this other thing until 10 years ago when it became cool for people to go, oh, that's, I don't see it. I never have seen it. Like, strap me up, I I I I'll do the lie detector that Kavanaugh wouldn't. I'll sit there, ask me that question. Give me, give me the golden lasso. I literally don't get it. That's why it's like, I just look at people and I go, how are, I don't, yeah, there's your answer. Who's next? You have a nice, what's your hat say? Power trip, right on. What's up, buddy? Come on up to the microphone, because we can't hear you in the back. So I got a question for up-and-coming uh, creators. Yes. Uh, especially for the ones that, like, you know, feel that they're not there yet. Okay, I'm going to give you I'm gonna give you a speech. Okay, so like, <laughs> what advice would you give them, especially, like, when they're in their lowest, or they have, like, a creation that they want to get out, but it's all garbled up, and it's just, like, they have to scrap it, even though they're, like, really feel passionate for it. I'm going to tell you right now, I have never, ever, ever, every day, I literally remember being 18 years old. My parents are broke. My dad has cancer. He is dying. Um, he, he's getting multiple surgeries. Uh, came out of a coma for nine months when I was 10 years old. The doctors kept saying to my mom, don't, don't, you know, you need to unplug him. He's never going to wake up. Um, the last, like, from 9 to 18 for me was rough, man. And my parents, they had the worst time, and my dad was terribly sick, and all I ever wanted to do was draw comic books. And I cannot believe the life that I get to lead because of comic books. But I'm telling you, man, the opportunities you have, I remember getting hired. I remember the thrill, the euphoria, and the opportunity to tell stories for a living. And the opportunities to you guys, I had to drive. I saw an ad that there was going to be an editor in San Francisco for an inaugural show. And I drove seven hours from Orange County to San Francisco, spent the night at my aunt and uncle's, uh, went to the show, showed my work, and I was fortunate enough to get hired by Marvel and later DC Comics. The outlets that you guys have today is, it's immeasurable. The internet, I, I mean, I would never have to drive to San Francisco. I mean, I hire people off the internet all the time. A guy uh, named Jim Toe, put two drawings of Youngblood on Twitter a year and a half ago. He ended up doing, doing 11 issues of Youngblood for me, and now he draws Deadpool for Marvel. Like, that's the internet. And Now that's talent, but whether it's colorists, whether it's writers, whether it's uh, inkers, you guys have, I mean, some, somebody introduced themselves to me today, and I said, dude, I want to get to know you. Hit me up. I'm all over social media. I love social media. I, I'm, I'm trying to actually be quieter now, but I, I love all the outlets. Like, where am I going to post today? Facebook? Instagram? Uh, Twitter? I don't do Tinder. Uh, I'm not looking up. Okay? Um, I'm, 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 you know, I, my, my wife needs to know this. Um, but uh, the thing is, the thing is, uh, the internet, all social media is such a great platform, and I feel you, bro. I know what it's like. I've never forgotten what it was like to break in. It was so exciting, but also scary. So, look, if you need to collaborate with other artists, whatever is a bit, that's out there too. Hey, I'm so-and-so. Now, your artists, if you are an artist, you need to hire an artist, they're going to want to get paid. Most guys are really um, fair. If you go, hey, I'm going to give you an upside, you know? I'm going to give you, a, but, but be, be expected to come clean for them. If you say you're giving them 20%, 50%, you're going to give them that yeah. to help you out. So anyway, that's, I really, the, the internet has made it so empowering for creators. So that's my message to you, man. 
Um, thank you for asking. Thank you very much. Are we done? No, we have one more. And I wish you had an answer for the kid, for God's sake. We have time for one more. Quick one. Ah, I see that guy. Ah, Philip, come on up. See, jumping down, up and down helps, right? And... Hello. Hi. Uh, why does it seem like Deadpool has such a horrible face? Can you try again? Why does it seem like Deadpool has such a horrible one for Spider-Man? <laughs> Don't you? <laughs> You're wearing a Spider-Man shirt. I think this is self-evident in your clothes. I Don't have, we all? I have a Ravenclaw cloak in my bag. No, but here's the deal, man. It's so fun, as I told you. And I'll end with this. Todd McFarlane, good friend of mine, was blowing it up on Spider-Man. I was drawing a team book with 10 kids. That means kids with hair, facial hair, you know, eyes, nose, everything you have to match up as an artist. And Todd would go, because everyone likes my bad Todd McFarlane impressions. Bond! Bond! I'm gonna laugh with the deal! You're, you're, you're drawing the eyes and the nose and, and the beard and the scar and, and, and I'm done! I'm done! I, I drew an oval and an oval and an oval and some webs, and the close up of Spidey, and I called it a day. And I went, F that guy. <laughs> F that guy, he's right. I need to, I need my own Spider-Man, because he's so easy to draw. And I'm telling you, man, there is no, again, Kavanaugh lie detector, I'm right here. Golden Lasso, I'm right here. Deadpool was created out of necessity, I needed something easy to draw. He's red and black, good God. Don't we all have a hard on for Spider-Man? I think they're pulling the plug on me. I hope I answered all your questions. I am so, when they told me that I was going to be sharing the stage with these guys, I was so excited. I was so excited. So, thank you all for coming to this panel and, and for celebrating all the good fans and the Gables and the Dominoes. LA Comic Con rocks. I'm going to tell you, I, I, I used to come to little LA shows when I was a little kid, my parents would drive up here for the day and tool around while I would go to the hotel shows. And LA didn't have a big show until LA Comic Con. And now LA has this amazing, massive, colossal show. And I, I did come in here every year. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. Rob will be signing at his table. So go over and say uh, hi to him.